Welcome back to Thani, I'm Joe B. Have you ever wondered how the lumbar spine, pelvis, sacrum, and hip joints move during sit to stand? Tune in to find out. Let's dive in. During sit to stand transition, the hip extends first through the femoral head gliding forward or anteriorly. The hip extension results to stretching of the anterior hip ligaments, joint capsule, and muscles, therefore pulling the ilium forward or anteriorly. The anterior ilial rotation will pull the anterior sacroiliac ligaments, therefore pulling the sacrum into flexion or nutation. The anterior ilial rotation will also pull on the iliolumbar ligaments, resulting to L5 extension and increased lumbar lordosis. During stand to sit transition, it is just a reverse mechanics where the hip flexes, resulting to the femoral head gliding backward or posteriorly. The hip flexion results to stretching of the posterior hip ligaments, joint capsule and muscles, therefore pulling the ilium backward or posteriorly. The posterior ilial rotation will pull the posterior sacroiliac ligaments, therefore pulling the sacrum into extension or counter nutation. The posterior ilial rotation will also pull on the iliolumbar ligaments, resulting to L5 flexion and decreased lumbar lordosis. So do you want to know the muscles and ligaments responsible for double leg and single leg stance? If so, then watch this next video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.